Because children haven't been in school as much over the last year and a half, questions have surfaced about their safety. Will they know what to do in case of a natural disaster or an active shooter? Some parents are concerned about the lack of safety drills during virtual learning. So TV5 reached out to a self-defense instructor and a superintendent to find out more. TV5's Frank Turner has this story. All right, boys and girls, we need to close the, lock the door. Make sure you have something in your hand. Whether kids returning to school for in-person instruction are ready for the unthinkable, an open question, because kids have been learning virtually on and off due to COVID, meaning fewer in-school safety drills covering what to do during tornadoes or active shooter situations. These rules and routines that we're all used to from two and a half years ago uh, have faded away, and, and so uh, it's very important to get right back onto this to, to build up those uh, those uh, routines and relationships. What are we to do? Master firearms trainer and self-defense instructor Henry Reyna, owner of Secure Solution, a leading provider in the Great Lakes Bay region of self-defense programs, concealed weapons training, and security assessments, says he's concerned because schools need to be prepared for the fall. They're impacted because uh, they've been uh, at home and not interacting with their schools and the teachers and the policies and, and um, the regular routines that they were uh, enjoying prior to COVID-19. Well, one of the things we're fortunate at Hemlock Public School District is we were in session for most of last year. Hemlock School Superintendent Don Killingbeck says at least in his district, plenty of in-person classes have perfectly positioned his schools in a state of perpetual preparedness. So one of the things that we were able to do is to complete our drills. Our students are, are ready and able to answer to and respond to whether it be a tornado or a lockdown drill. Our students are prepared here at Hemlock Public School District as well as our staff. But Raina says for children unfamiliar or unprepared, now is the time for schools and parents to get students prepared to handle what no one wants to imagine. Frank Turner, WNEM TV5.